Today I'm going to talk about how to fix iPad is disabled, connect to iTunes issue on your iPad and how to fix this up. So let's get started. So first thing, if you're using iPad with no home button no matter what model your iPad is, this works for all iPad with no home button, just follow the instruction. So what we have to do is you just have to turn your device off and once it is done. You just have to connect one end to the PC or laptop and the other end to your iPad like this. You have to connect it, ok, so once connected, you just have to make sure that the screen it is turn it on, so now what you have to do is just have to get into recovery mode and do this stuff. You just have to press volume up followed by volume down, then press and hold power button until your iPad gets into recovery mode. So now as you can see that it is successfully got into recovery mode, for iPad with home button, this method will work for all the iPad models with home button. So to get into recovery mode, before that make sure that your iPad isn't connect to computer, ok, so first you need to turn off your iPad, connect your iPad to your computer while holding down the home button and keep holding the home button until you see the recovery mode screen. Now the instructions hereafter is the same for all the iPad models. As you can see, there's an option to restore your iPad, tap on that, then tap on agree. Then, at the top right of iTunes, you can see that the software is getting downloaded. The software is around 6.05 GB. So let's wait for it to get downloaded completely. Note that recovery mode will not stay longer. So, your iPad will get out of recovery mode if the download takes long. If the iPad goes out of recovery mode, it will not affect the download. You can re-enter into recovery mode once the download is complete. You don't have to download the software once again. Get into recovery and you can restore at the spot without downloading again. Note that doing this will erase all data of your iPad. So guys, Snow, as you can see that we have successfully downloaded and as you can see, it is getting processed. So, it is getting extracting the software, so you just have to wait for that too. Now, as you can see that the iPad is getting restored.
Now, your PC says that the iPad is restored. So let's move to the iPad. So guys, as you can see that we have successfully fixed the issue. And now we've successfully fixed iPad is disabled, connect to iTunes, and this is how you can fix this up. And we hope this video is helpful, and if you find this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of doubts, do ask in the comment section and we'll be getting back to you. See ya. Take care.